you know, one thing I learned so far, like very early on in, I don't want to call it entrepreneurship because it, it sounds super pretentious just calling it that, but I guess earlier on in, like, I guess me just pursuing stuff, I realized that, you know, there's going to automatically and by default be more people who want to screw you over and want to scam you out of money then there will be people who want to support you too in this like early stage where you kind of you know don't really have it a hundred percent figured out and you know you're just learning you know like for instance like think you're on instagram for instance and well, <laughs> Well, this thing almost like jerked my phone off. I would have had to have done over this whole video, but it's funny, so I'm keeping it. Like, for instance, if you're on Instagram and, you know, you just have your profile there and it's like obviously a business profile or you're obviously trying to be a, an influencer of short of sorts, like you have art there or you're posting every day and you're trying to make your life look super eventful or you're trying to use this to promote your business in some kind of way, you know, whatever. Look at the kind of messages you get first. It's like ambassadors and like these promotions promising you to like promising to shout you out when really and truthfully they're going to just put you on a site. They're, it's like legit just all a scam because what's going to happen is that you're going to just be on this account that has a bunch of followers. And then most of those followers are people who only really care about themselves. And... You know, so they're not going to look at your stuff. They're going to just be happy and glad that their stuff is on is on the thing. And I even got one like that for free. And I didn't even gain from it, gain that much from it. I didn't get that much traction. And I didn't get any new followers from it at all. You know, that's the reality of it all. For real, it really is. You know? And, you know, when you're on SoundCloud, you know, take SoundCloud, for instance. I have music out on SoundCloud now. And... The one thing I've seen the most is that there are fake radio channels that'll straight up come and say, hey, we want to put your song on the radio. I'm sure if I like post, I'm going to actually do this at the end of the video. Like before, right when I upload this video, I'm going to post a video uh, like a song. That's not even like a song, but just audio of like somebody shitting in a toilet <laughs> for like three minutes and see if a fake FM channel or like some fake radio show is gonna come and you know be like oh hey that song is so good i want to put it on on the thing i'm gonna put it on the thing <laughs> i want to put it on my radio show you just have to pay me this much money or click on this link that might be a virus <laughs> you know it, it's hilarious honestly it's really really hilarious come to think of it and i feel like the best bet like when it comes to promoting music is to like just be consistent, do it all the time, ask around, offer to like make beats for people for free first. And yeah, you'll do good. And just like be as consistent as possible, like post stuff almost every week, week or like every month. I don't practice what I preach, but you know, I'm going to do that for sure <laughs> in the future. But you know, it's just really funny stuff to look, to think about too. Like I've been sort of doing this i'm not trying to say i'm a pro or anything but i've just been doing it you know not like i'm good or anything or that i think you should listen to me i'm just doing this video for fun really but you know i've been doing it for a while i'd say and i've learned some lessons along the way as to what to do what not to send people and how to do things and you know certain way you talk to people you know i've learned lessons and i think i'm slowly starting to get better now you know and it's going good, and I feel good, you know, but um, here's the thing, you gotta learn how to, like, really suss out the bad stuff and know what to do, like, sometimes I just say don't pay for stuff, unless you want to boost your profile on Instagram, I guess that's fine, because it'll, like, pop up, like, an advertisement, and if somebody's interested, they'll be able to do it, but those are always clowned on, I realize especially those dumb games that uh, that are f that you know don't look the way they're advertised as, and like you know that puzzle game that looks super cool, and it's like this super revolutionary idea, and people that people think it is, and you know you want to try it but you don't have time to.
because you don't want to play mobile games anymore because you're too old to play mobile mobile games because mobile games suck. <laughs> but, you know, really and truthfully, it, it isn't because mobile games suck. It's because, you know, you know that game actually sucks and it does not look the way it looks in the ad. It's not as cool. It's not as fun, too. It's just a normal puzzle game like, like, um like Candy Crush, but the only difference is that it just has like a nuclear symbol on it and there's no zombies and it's probably just in like some picture-esque thing and it's not even like the cool like side-scrolling adventure it's played out to be, you know, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it, there's gonna, like when you start doing a business, there's gonna be more people like trying to mess you up than there's gonna be people who actually want to help you. And, you know, just as a remember, reminder, I don't want, like, people to think that, you know, this means that you should, like, straight up start hating the world and hating everyone, you know, because that just isn't going to be a good way to handle things to begin with. You're going to just, like, end up, you know, messing with your mental health and you're going to just do stupid things if you, like, let those bad, you know, thoughts just cloud your judgment all the time. So what's the best advice I could give? as far as how to do it, like, okay, when you do get somebody who actually can help you, and who actually, like, did, like, push you a bit up, like, maybe not to the moon, but even slightly, like, no matter how much, if, it, if there is somebody willing to help you in that situation, like, be super grateful for that person, trust me, like, be super grateful for that person, and just don't forget what they did, like, you know, <laughs> it's just the best thing to do in my opinion. But yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.